Hey folks, uh, I just thought I'd show you these two new old knives. Well, they're not new to me, I've had them a very long time, but when I were back in UK, these were at my mother's house, they were two knives what I had for a long, long time. I'll show them you. One's got a very interesting story, or might be interesting to you. This one, which is a big old Bowie knife with a deer handle, antler handle, was in a lot better state than this when I first got it but I've had that since I was about 16 I think I swapped it this for um, a motorbike helmet I had a spare helmet and a friend of mine had this knife and I actually used to take this to work with me <laughs> right now totally illegal now but at the time it wasn't and where I work was on a farm I did some work on a farm when I was, uh, just left school and it's excellent for chopping cabbages, <laughs> so <laughs> I took my own knife. Now, it had some abuse. After that period, this would actually used my mother used it for chopping and splitting wood for fire. So it's had some proper abuse. It's been sharpened a few times and abused with a, an angle grinder. It wants tidying up in a good clean. It just got a few curls on it, but considering that was splitting um, sticks and wood, on a concrete step for years and years being battened through it it's stood up pretty well the handle won't free gluing the this bit it's not moved it's just actually it, it didn't it wasn't seated fully oh wait it might have moved a little bit yeah but i can do that i can fix that just wants a bit of epoxy back in it I might actually try and take it off and put it back on and I'll clean the blade up. This one was made in Sheffield. That's a proper bowie knife. During the battening it lost a little brass plaque off here, which I'll probably try and find again. Uh, well, not find again, but I will put another piece on. But that is quite a good knife. And I'm pleased that I managed to bring it back with me. It did go in the luggage. I didn't put in my, um, I didn't have it strapped to my belt on the plane. But this one is a Parang. Now, I was informed when I bought it, it was from the Dutch army in Indonesia. Because I bought, I bought this in North Sumatra. And the reason I bought it was because I was going up to a place called Bucket Luang, which to do a, drung, a jungle trek, where we saw actual real wild orangutans drinking at the side of the river, which is quite amazing when you see something like that. But as you can see, it's had lots of sharpening. That is the original sheath, but it's it's lost about a good inch in length from the time it's been used. Now, if, obviously, if it's from the army in Indonesia, then it's it's very old. I mean, again, I've had that mm, around. Yeah, I must I must have had that twenty twenty odd years, and obviously the, I don't know when the Indonesia when the Dutch were in or when they pulled out. They pulled out, didn't they, during the Second World War when Japanese invaded? So that's probably before then. Only marking it's got is that the aluminium the handle's aluminium but again it was advised that we had a knife because we were going into the jungle so i bought that it's got quite a good edge on it even now now i haven't touched that at all and again i think what i'm going to do is just clean it up and get all that rust off it and make it look nice again but for those of you who like interesting knives i thought that might have been interesting to you incidentally i spent when i was in Indonesia. I was there for about seven months off and on, back in back in the night. It was quite an interesting time of my life. I went all over, including Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia. Rode a, I had a motorbike and rode, rode it in, rode it into a minefield in Cambodia, accidentally of course, but and managed to turn it turn it around on its back wheel after I saw the third sign, not the first one. I just saw the sign zip past, and turned it around on its back wheel and rode it back out. It was a brown pants moment, but it's one of them stories that you could, uh, well, to tell the grandchildren, let's say. Now, anyway, I thought that you might find that interesting. And uh, don't forget, thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's always nice to be nice. <laughs>